Welcome to Simple Science, where we ask a simple question and then perform a science experiment. Today's simple question is, how do fish breathe? Fish need oxygen to breathe just like humans. However, fish can't breathe the air around them like we do. That's because there is no air underwater. Fish have to get their oxygen another way. Luckily, water is made up of oxygen. Fish use their gills to help them breathe. But how do gills work? This is our fish. The blue strip of paper is our water and the orange jewels represent the oxygen molecules in the water. Fish have gills to help them breathe. Gills are slits on the side of a fish located on both sides of their body. The gills are made up of a series of membranes that have a lot of blood vessels. When a fish opens their mouth, water will flow into their body and out through their gills. As the water passes the gills, the oxygen is then absorbed by those blood vessels and sent to different parts of the body. The water that flows back into the ocean is carbon dioxide. For this experiment, you will need two clear jars or cups, a rubber band or hair tie, a coffee filter, coffee grounds, a spoon, and water. The water represents water. The coffee grounds represent the oxygen molecules in the water. And the coffee filter represents the fish's gill. The first thing you do is pour the water in a cup. Next, Pour the coffee grounds into the water. You want enough coffee grounds to make the water look dirty. Now we are going to put the filter over the clear jar. You want to make sure that you don't put the filter on flat. It will cause spills that way. You want to make sure you push the filter in to create a hole and then secure it with a rubber band. Now, pour the water with the coffee grounds over the filter. What should happen is that the coffee grounds, acting as our oxygen molecules, should be absorbed by the fish's gill, which is our coffee filter. The rest of the water should flow down here, and there shouldn't be any coffee grounds in the bottom. Here we go. Now, if you notice, the water is flowing to the bottom. This is the water that will go back out into the ocean or the lake, and this will be carbon dioxide. The fish's gills should absorb all of the coffee grounds.
Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you learned a lot. And if you decide to do the science experiment yourself, if you will post your photos below and let us know how it went, stay tuned for more simple science videos.